Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, when I say the end of days for GTA Online are happening, it is most definitely happening. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. So to kick things off, this happened yesterday. Tez2 tweeted out this. New extreme exploits have appeared allowing cheaters to remotely add slash remove slash modify your stats and permanently, permanently corrupt your account, aka ban slash delete. What? And Mr. Tez2 was even nice enough to give us examples of what this is and what this looks like. And as you can see on this screenshot, you can literally add rank, unlocks, add sports, or look at this special one, corrupt account. Bruh. On top of that, you can remove money, give money up to 15 million at a time. Can't even believe this is actually a thing on GTA. And just to clarify, this is exclusively on PC. For now, anyways, apparently cheaters on PC can even access certain stuff, for example, like the calculator on people's machines. And the sad thing is this will only keep getting worse. As of now, I would not recommend playing GTA Online on PC. Tez2 also said it's now essential you have a firewall rule installed while playing until Rockstar properly addresses this new exploit. So now let's dive deep into the other issues. The first one is the orbital cannon spam. That is right. The orbital cannon spam glitch is back. If you guys do not know what the orbital cannon spam glitch is, it's pretty much when a user can shoot the orbital cannon repeatedly without any cooldowns and kill whoever they want. So yeah, that's fun. The next issue, and of course is the fan favorite, is there are a ton, and I mean a ton, of god mode glitches. You have the normal god mode, you have god mode with anti-ragdoll, you have off the radar god mode, you even have off the radar without god mode, vehicle god mode, and of course you can't forget the god mode speedo. I'm pretty sure there's other god mode glitches that I'm not listing, but it's getting quite ridiculous. On top of that, Xbox players have a thing that's called the input glitch. Pretty much at any point in time you're playing GTA Online, your controller pretty much just stops working with the inputs, so you can't drive or press start or anything like that. So you have to go and restart your entire GTA Online and load back up. Isn't that wonderful? I love it. But wait, it gets better. Crew stealing and social club account stealing is still a thing. Wow. Who would have guessed? People literally go and find a social club account that they want and they pretty much can have it. You can't do anything to fight against it. You pretty much just have to hope nobody comes after you and steals your social club account. Did I just hear that right? But wait, you thought it was over? The RC sticky bomb glitch. Ah, yes. The best choice for people who don't know how to actually fight. Pretty much the RC glitch allows you to throw C4s, aka sticky bombs, from your RC car and you don't blow up and you can continuously keep doing this. And these are just some of the main big issues that myself along with other GTA content creators and of course you guys have to deal with when you guys log on to GTA Online. And Rockstar still refuses to fix anything. So like I said at the start, it is really the end of days for GTA Online. PC GTA Online has turned into a horror game and on console GTA Online, you have all those issues that I listed previously. I'm very curious to hear your guys' thoughts, so please let me know in the comments down below. And do you think Rockstar will fix this new big exploit on PC? And do you think Rockstar will actually fix all these glitches in GTA Online? I look forward to reading what you guys got to say. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.